Hello everyone and welcome to episode 28 of my Create This Book 2 series by me and Mariah Elizabeth. Today I am going to be doing four more prompts. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe and let's see what I can come up with for today. For the first challenge of the day, we are challenged to create a personal challenge. So I'm supposed to use this page to try an art form that I find difficult. And that for me was immediately watercolors. I have these new watercolor paints that I want to try and I'm very excited about it, but also very scared. Me and watercolors don't really have much of a history because I don't use them that often. I'm a little confused about how to use them. I always want to make things like acrylic paint but today we are going to be inspired by these kind of house watercolor paintings so I looked up Victorian houses and these are going to be our inspiration for today I also have these new watercolor brush pens that I am very excited to try I think you kind of fill them up with water and then they allow you to kind of get the exact amount of water you need by squeezing the end so I filled those up and now it's time to start sketching out the house design so I kind of made a little bit of a mistake with this because not only do I find watercolor difficult I also find architecture difficult so I kind of just combined them together to make it like my worst nightmare but not really it was actually kind of fun even though it was really challenging I tried to start by first adding in some shadows and highlights by like kind of making it more saturated and then less saturated and then I tried to make a base layer first and then I decided I would add Add details in later. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but I figured that would give me my best chance at creating something that I didn't think was horrible. So I tried to keep on going and just kind of start there and just put in all of my base colors before I tried to go crazy doing anything else. In terms of color scheme for this house, I kind of just went crazy with it. I decided to make the like details on the house pink and then the roof is already blue. So it's kind of out there, but you know, it's my creation. So I guess it can look however it wants to look. And I decided it needed to be pink and blue. And I think later I even add in some purples. So that's nice, but I decided to make the house house blue as well so that way it would kind of go together even though I don't know if somebody would have like an entirely blue house with just like pink accents but hey if you do then that's pretty awesome but anyway then I went ahead and kept on adding in more and more and now it's time to introduce some new colors and try to add in some detail so I took that smaller brush pen and started adding in a little bit darker of colors see that's how they kind of work you like squeeze out a little bit of water at a time it's pretty cool but anyway then I went ahead and added in this kind of pink purple to try and create some shadows and details on the house even more this thing right there kind of looks like an eye that was not intentional but it's kind of cool and then I went ahead and added even finer details and tried to make it look a little more intentional with everything but I don't know I mean I just don't really know how to use watercolors that well I think I need to do a little more studying figure out what I'm actually supposed to be doing how to build color but then this is like my favorite part of this whole drawing I added in these little like shingle roof details and I think that turned out really cool and I love the way that looks like I don't feel like the top looks over rendered I like when watercolors look purposefully like watercolor and not like they're overdone so I kind of overdid the rest of it and I went in with even more details and more dark colors and just kind of kept pushing it to a place where I'm not sure it needed to go but it was still a lot of fun and I definitely think I learned a lot from this and I think it's not horrible like I said this up here is my favorite part like this roof shingle detail I just think that came out so pretty and that's kind of what I wish the rest of the house looked like but now it's time to try again for the other side of the page for this side of the page, I decided to make something a little less detailed and a little smaller. That way I could try and focus more on like how to use the watercolors and less on like all of the other stuff that comes in making art. So I tried to take this a little more simple. It's just a little like window with some flowers in front of it. And I still had a difficult time and I'm not sure if this turned out exactly how I wanted it to either. I tried to be a little more loose with the art and try to make it a little more watercolor-y, like how I would like to create watercolor art. 
and I think it turned out really fun. It's a lot looser of a style, and I really like it, but I don't know. It's still not where I want it to be, but I'm pretty impressed that I was able to create what I did. This was definitely a personal challenge. Then I put them into the book, and here is how this first page turned out. I think it is really pretty, but I definitely feel like I still need a lot more practice. But now it's time for the next prompt, which is to create a dichotomy. So I'm supposed to create some nice, neat little lines, and then basically scribble all over them. So I decided to create little monsters. So I just started drawing out these cute little like monster guys that all had different facial features and emotions and some of them had like horns and fun things like that. I thought that would just be fun since it's kind of spooky season you know right now and then I just kept on going until both pages were filled. It was kind of hard to come up with ideas of a whole bunch of different monsters but I just kept on going and it was pretty fun. This one was inspired by Frankenstein here. So I just kind of went along and did whatever came to mind. This was kind of like mindless art and just kind of like doodling, which was a lot of fun. Like I don't do that enough. So this was a really fun one to try and tackle on. I definitely feel like I spent too much time though like putting the detail I did into these little monsters and I know what you're probably thinking like these monsters are not that detailed okay and I, I'm with you I'm with you but wait till you see what I do to them later because then you're gonna be like yeah I think you probably spent way too much time detailing these little monsters but anyway after I finished the first side then I went ahead and just continued that little monster almost pattern I guess on the left side of the page as well and then I tried to create like different types even more I tried to add like a skull like a ghost I made that one in the middle down there like a giant monster I tried to give some of them hair I ended up making like a chicken monster later that sounds really silly but you'll see what I mean this one's inspired by a pumpkin so I just try to have fun with it and be creative with it because that's kind of hard for me sometimes to like just take art like like make it fun like I saw something the other day that was like create art without like considering the outcome and I was like what like <laughs> that sounds silly but I've never thought of it that way before and here's the little chicken monster I was talking about but like I always take art very seriously and am making it like to you know produce something or to come up with something that I'm proud of or that I love but like it was cool to just like think about it like just enjoy the creative process so that's what I was really trying to do with this one just kind of have fun with it and do whatever came to mind like I made this little tiny face monster there and then I just kept on going that one's sticking its tongue out but I had a lot of fun I decided to make this little cat one too because you know I love cats and then once it was finally completed it was time to do honestly like the hardest page this whole time because this next part is a little bit brutal. It is now time to destroy these adorable little monsters and my weapon of choice are these Crayola markers and then I went ahead and started coloring them in carelessly. That's the rules and I just kind of went for it. I started scribbling all over these little monsters and just destroying their cute little faces. They're like please don't but you know you gotta do it and it was definitely a challenge this one was because it was a little bit stressful like just to let yourself go wild on all of these things like and I honestly took quite some time to draw out all of those little monsters so it was a little crazy to do this part but it was also really fun and the more I went and did it the more I got into it and was just like scribbling all over the place and just kind of doing it I mean at that point it's like what damage can be done like look at this it looks like a toddler made this which you know good for them but yeah kind of scary but time for the next one which is kind of more of a get to know you kind of page this prompt and the next prompt are kind of just pages for me and you to get to know each other a little bit better I'm supposed to create an activity log I decided to put in that I eat food every day that I run three times a week that I do housework a lot because living is messy like you just live and it's just messy like 
everything creates a mess food creates dishes you get it and now it is time for the next prompt which is to create a list of pet peeves so i have to come up with 10 pet peeves and here are some of mine i don't like a messy space i don't like unsolicited advice i don't like unrespected personal space like when you're in a store and then somebody like comes into your bubble like whoa you know i don't like when the cats scratch furniture especially when you can hear them scratching it somewhere but you don't know where they are or what they're scratching like come on kids you know better i don't like people texting and driving that one's kind of given or people driving carelessly i really just don't like it when people are mean to be honest it's kind of annoying when like a food place is out of your order like you go to order something and you're like so excited about it and then they're like oh we don't have that like that's sad i don't like squeaky doors and I don't like when people are on like the wrong side of like the lane in a store or something and like you're both trying to get your cart passed but they're on the wrong side and you're like, ah. This prompt was hard for me because I don't have a lot, but let me know what your pet peeves are in the comments because I would love to know what things just get under your skin a little bit. But let's take a look at the first prompt again. Here is the first prompt again where I created a personal challenge that was definitely personal and I tried to use watercolor for the first time in a while with architecture and it came out pretty well, especially since I'm not familiar with watercolor. Here is the second prompt where I created these little monsters and scribbled all over them if you're still watching comment a little ghost emoji here is the next prompt where i created an activity log of a very boring mundane week i don't really plan a lot of things in my week but let me know what you think and what you do in a week and here is a list of my pet peeves i don't have that many but i had to come up with 10 let me know one of yours in the comments thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed let me know which prompt was your favorite from today mine was definitely the first one if you made it this far and you haven't already be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye